Adventure Bay, I hereby present the Paw Patrol with this medal of bravery for stopping that out of control hot air balloon. With you pups on patrol, our city is in good hands. Don't you mean good paws? <laughs> enough is enough. I'm City Councilman Herb Tangier. Mayor Goodway has put all our lives at risk with her Paw Patrol initiative, and I say it's time to vote her out. Fact, this mayor fired all of our city's police officers, firefighters, and paramedics, and replaced them with a group of six talking dogs. I, I think that was a bad idea, and I'm not alone. Listen to these concerned citizens. I was excited about the Paw Patrol at first. Talking dogs who know how to fly jets and drives? Great. But it's become clear that six dogs cannot protect a city roughly the size of San Diego. Criminals and lowlifes are flocking here because they know there's only one cop patrolling our streets, and it's a dog. And there's only one firefighter, also a dog. So if there's two fires at the same time, someone's getting screwed, I guess? Who is in charge of this organization? A child? Yes! The Paw Patrol is run by a 10-year-old boy named Ryder. Who is this kid? Beats me. As far as we can tell, he has no parents and doesn't go to school. But maybe that's for the best, because with all of our tax dollars paying for, for all these cockapoos jetpacks, we, we now have the worst schools in the state. This is my 17-year-old son. He can barely read. Uh, I can read. I just don't know what sounds vowels make when they're next to other letters in a line. <laughs> Mayor Goodway, this is your fault, and you need to go. Fair. Our city's COVID response was a national disgrace. Why? Because six dogs were in charge of it. Fact, Chase, the police dog's only weapon, is a net. Question, how is a net going to help if a lunatic on bath salts is eating my face? Answer, it won't. Fact, Macho, the fire dog, is my favorite one. He's the funniest pup by far and the coolest by a mile. But I don't think he can carry me down a flight of stairs because he ain't got no hands. Fact, I also like Marshall the best. He's super brave and his jokes never miss. But do we feel safe? No. Listen to this actual 911 call. Paw Patrol, we're ready to roll. This is Ryder. What's your emergency? It's my girlfriend, man. She's not waking up. Her eyes are, like, rolled back. I think she's Odin, man. Um... Please hold. Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol. Unacceptable! And that's not the only emergency this Paw Patrol's bungled. Just ask my sister. I went into labor early. I was alone and called 911 for help and told them my water broke. So they sent Zuma, the water rescue dog, to my home. He didn't understand what was happening and sat there chewing on his upper butt while I gave birth on my kitchen floor. Disgraceful, but it gets worse. Recently, my wife was in a terrible accident. And who came to break this earth-shaking news to me and my children? A bulldog in a hard hat. <laughs> and midway through telling us, he started doing that scooting thing dogs do, where they put their hind legs under them and drag their itchy ass across the floor. <laughs> enough is enough. Mayor Goodway, the numbers don't lie. 258 unsolved murders. 36 carjackings a day. Zero sex crime units in our police force because the Paw Patrol and their 10-year-old boss don't know what sex is. <laughs> and one, one chance to take our city back by voting yes to recall Mayor Goodway in next week's special election. Let's make our voice heard and get my wife out of office. Paid for by cats.